Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. The Crawl Key and Cocker Key Boas are two awesome dwarf locality boas from small islands off of the coast of Belize. Superficially, they're quite similar and people often get these two locality boas confused. Today I want to show you some examples of each from my collection and do some close-ups pointing out the details you can look at to differentiate these two types of boas. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel for more videos on all aspects of keeping and breeding boas in captivity. Say hello to my little friends. Okay, I can't believe I waited this long to use that line in one of my videos, but we have the crawl key right here, and here we have the cocker key, also known as the key cocker. And so, as I mentioned, superficially they're pretty similar. And these guys are both from these small key islands off of the coast of Belize in the Caribbean. And superficially you can see that they're both small animals. The, the crawl here is seven years old, this cocker is four years old. And so this one is almost full size, this guy is full size. And they have an anerythristic appearance overall. You can see they're predominantly gray and black snakes. Although they're not truly anerythristic as some do retain some of the reddish pigment, especially towards their tails. And so there are some differences as well. Looking at a cocker key boa, in general these animals have a cleaner, more symmetrical look to them. So this cocker key boa you can see has these blocky square shaped saddle square or rectangular shaped saddles. Overall they have a higher contrast than the, than the crawl key and a cleaner look. If you look at the head markings on a cocker key, in general they're cleaner and a little bit more symmetrical. And then looking at cocker key boas, there's less variability in appearance between uh, different individuals. Uh, another difference is that the cocker key boas in general have a darker color. It's kind of more of a darkish grayish color of the background color where the saddles are kind of an inky black in color. The crawl key, on the other hand, has a lighter ground color, more of a steely gray ground color. Uh, the saddles are quite a bit more irregular and more variable between individuals. The, it, the crawl key have a um, less clean background. They have more speckling and freckling. And then another difference is the shape of the saddles is much more variable. Some of them have a lot of striping. So like this animal, you can see he's got a striping towards his tail where the saddles are kind of fused together. And then another difference is that the shape of the heads. The crawl key has a slightly longer head than the cocker key. And in general, the cocker key is a little more uh, stout and kind of more muscular and robust, whereas the crawl key is a little bit more elongated than the cocker key. And so I did videos previously on both of these types of boas where I went into more depth on the natural history and captive husbandry. So if you want to learn more about the individual types of boas, check out those videos. But now I'm going to do some close-up shots of my animals just to point out the differences that you can look for. So here we have a crawl key boa. So what you'll notice is this animal has a lightish steely gray background color. The saddles are kind of irregular. They're different shapes going down the body of the boa. You can see this animal has quite a bit of striping towards the tail where the saddles are fused together. This crawl key boa also has more irregular head markings. In general, the head markings aren't as regular or symmetrical as in the cocker key boa. And then the other thing is that overall, the crawl keys have a less clean appearance. They have a lot more speckling and freckling and background color, which leads to an overall lower contrast uh, in general compared to the cocker key boas. Crawl key boas also have more diversity in appearance in general, with some animals having uh, more symmetrical saddles, whereas others can have complete or partial striping. And so you'll see more variability between individuals of crawl key boa, whereas the cocker key boas in general look pretty similar to each other. The other thing to today about the crawls is sometimes the background color can be more of a brownish in color, although you can see this animal is this nice steely gray in background color. And here we have a cocker key boa. 
So you'll notice that compared to the crawl key boa, this animal has a more clean, symmetrical look with these blocky, inky, dark saddles. The background color is a little bit darker, probably a couple shades darker of gray. It doesn't have any striping. It has this uniform, symmetrical appearance. Uh, in general, the cocker key is a little bit stockier and more muscular than the crawl key. Although I found that both of these types of boas are fairly muscular, fairly squeezy. They like to hold on. Although I would say that my cocker key boa, like this one, are a little more squeezy. The Call key is a little uh, more enjoyable to handle when I take it out. It's a little more relaxed in general. Well, that, that might just be due to the individual differences of animals in my collection. And then looking at the head markings, you'll notice this animal has a lot cleaner head markings, more symmetrical than the crawl key. The head is also a little bit shorter and wider than the uh, crawl key. And here we have another example of a cocker key boa. This is my female. I just showed you my male in the last scene. So you'll notice that this female, as far as the markings, almost looks like a carbon copy of my male. She's just got these very clean, symmetrical, blocky saddles on a dark gray background. Uh, the female has a little bit more of a brownish tint to her. And if you look at her tail, you can just barely see a little bit of a reddish pigment. So these animals, although they look like anorthristic animals, they're not totally anorthristic. They do have a little bit of reddish pigments. But um, other than that, she's just very similar to my male with the clean markings. Look how clean the head markings are. And you can see she doesn't like to sit still. Uh, the cockerkee boas, they move around a little bit and they like to hold on and squeeze with their uh, stockier bodies as compared to the crawl key boas. Now for another crawl key. This is a three-year-old female sub-adult who's about three feet long or so. And you can see she's just quite a bit lighter than the cocker key we just looked at. Although these animals do change color from dark to light and this is kind of her lighter phase. You can also see how her body color is, in general, quite a bit less clean looking than the cocker key. You can see all of these freckles and markings and also the saddles, how irregular they are. You can see she's got some striping towards her tail. This animal also has this beautiful pinkish lavender tone to her sides. It's a little bit subtle, but hopefully you can see that pinkish lavender color. Just a real beautiful, creamy, grayish, pinkish color. And then, in general, the crawl key tends to be a little bit calmer. She was actually sitting still at first, but now she just wants to move around. Um, but, you know, real cool locality boa to add to your collection. The crawl key boa. The last animals I wanted to show you are some four month old holdback animals from my 2020 litter and unfortunately two of these are in shed now so they're looking a little dull as far as the color but hopefully this will give you an idea about the variability even within a litter of hog island of uh, crawl key boas you can see this is the male and he's got kind of irregular saddles a little bit more rectangular and blocky towards his tail and then you can see a little bit of striping towards the tail and then looking at these females, you can see they have quite a bit more tail striping. Actually, this female, um, just a little, this female really does, and just a little bit of, you can see the connected saddles towards the tail. And then this one probably has the most striping. You can see the lateral or the back, probably about quarter to a third is just one big stripe. And so I should say I did hold back the animals that had the striping since I think it's kind of cool. But in general, there was quite a bit of variability in this litter as far as the individual appearances. And you'll see this more with the crawl key boas than you do with the cocker key that tend to look pretty similar to each other from the same litter. These dwarf island boas are thought to have evolved from animals that made it from mainland Belize many thousands of years ago. And in response to the challenging conditions of the island with very limited food supplies, they evolved into these smaller forms. 
There's actually a number of other islands off the coast of Belize, in addition to Crawl Key and Cocker Key. And this includes West Snake Key, Wee Wee Key, and Ambergris Key. And many of these islands have their own population of boas, which has been evolving separately. In fact, some of these ultra-rare key boas are in captivity, um, although I don't have any experience with any other than the Crawl Key and the Cocker Key. But uh, I know that Vin Russo is working with this uh, form called the West Snake Key, and there's a few others in captivity, although they're very rare uh, and not very common in people's collections. And so the biology of these animals is really fascinating. And if you're interested in learning more, I would highly recommend you check out the work of the herpetologist, Dr. Scott Bobeck, and I'll put his name below. If you do a Google search for his name, you can find his articles. And he's done many fascinating studies on different aspects of the biology of these dwarf constrictors. So be sure to check it out. Lastly, I want to just comment on the pronunciation of the word key. Although it's spelled C-A-Y, and many people pronounce it K, the actual correct pronunciation is Key, as in Key West, Florida. In fact, people that live on these small islands can differentiate between the natives and the tourists based on the, how they pronounce the word, with the tourists mispronouncing the word as K. That being said, uh, if you do want to pronounce it K, I'm pretty sure no, people aren't going to have much difficulty understanding what you're talking about. So, you know, don't feel too bad about that. But I'll continue to pronounce it as key, as in Kral Key Boa. Well, that's about it for the Kral Key and the Cocker Key Boas. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to shoot me a line with any questions or comments you may have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Boas.